So we got the men's high hurdles and the men's 400. Let's start here with, with the high hurdles. Upset there, Hansel Parchman of Jamaica catches Grant Holloway at the end. Holloway loses his first race of the year. Parchment goes 13.04 to Holloway's 13.09. Ronald Levy, 13.10. Very tight there. And Devin Allen, fourth in 13.14. So a good race for her. Just just a, a note, remember, Holloway, 12.81 at the U.S. Trials, but 13.02 actually in the in the first round here. And then runs 13.09 in the final. Undefeated season up until this point. I had mentioned before, Holloway's always been his best when the lights are the brightest. But so those last two hurdles, it looked like he was going to pull away, Gordon, and then slowed the field came back to him and, and Parchment was able to to get it done. Yeah, I seeing Grant Holloway have a run like that is just seems like weird. It seems like you're you're dreaming because he's been able to handle pressure of through the whole NCA system, winning six straight NCA titles. He's been able to handle the pressure of needing to prove it on the international stage in 2019. Mm -hmm. So you would think the this race would just be like any other race. And for, right. like you said, the first 70 to 75% of it, it was. And then something happened. And it's kind of hard to dissect it. It's It's kind of hard to figure out why someone of Grant Holloway's talent and caliber would fall apart that late in the race, you know, when he hasn't really been doing that ever. There, like mm -hmm. a lot of times when this happens, when this upsets, you always can find like a tea leaf from the regular season somewhere and be like, oh, okay, that's where, that's why. Like you could figure out a way to kind of justify it or you could figure out a way to justify the winner was like, oh, he was coming on strong. Everyone was yeah. sleeping on this athlete. There was no like data point out there. I mean, he was heavily favored. He's like minus a thousand. So someone made a lot of money if they bet against him. And it just it just didn't work. Well, no. You're right. The only indication, and it seems weird to look that much into this, would have been the semi. Because that thirteen oh two in the opening round was amazing. Like he he looked like he had that pop, looked like how he was running in the trials, and then he still won his heat in that semifinal, but it looked like he was he was going all out and he didn't have that same level of separation and runs 13-13 in the semi. And he did that uh, and then has to come back and run the, the, the morning final. But still, but still, a, a, 13, a 13 low would have got the job done uh, and, and he didn't have it. It reminded me a bit, do you remember when Daniel Roberts had his number? in uh before before um grant was able to reverse it at ncaa's and Dan, and and he just he like didn't have that same it's almost like when holloway's running well it feels like he just has an extra turbo boost like he gets off of that good start but then there's this big big other boost at hurdle five and it just c carries him the rest of the way and it reminded me of that that 2019 season when he had those those defeats but yeah, it was uh, it was surprising, and then it come it came right after the four by one. So if you were looking at it from a U.S. perspective, it was it was just kind of again like the momentum was not in in the Americans' favor at that point because Holloway, pretty big favorite, maybe not at the beginning of the year because you want to see how he comes off after that twelve or after the the Doha gold, but then what he does all year, what he does at the trials, okay. This one, this one's pretty solid, but I mean, the hurdles are unpredictable historically. And even someone as great as Holloway can have, have a bad race. And like parchment had had a great race on that day. So I was, I was surprised by this one, but it just, it sort of fit the whole theme of, of these championships. Oh, this is cool. This New York times simulation here. So you see Holloway getting off to a great start as per usual. And then it's these last, yeah, these those last two. And he had a, he was close for like I almost thought he got bronze, Gordon, when I first saw it. Yeah, he had a dip I mean, there. I did too. He, he had a dip. I mean, 0 0.01 over Levy. So I'm rewatching. <sighs> it's cool to be able to watch the race kind of again. 
without having it be like an IOC media rights violation. We should, <laughs> you know, it's, it's almost like you were there watching it, right? They got the movement. Yeah. It feels like it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to get banned from Instagram like Elaine Thompson no. did. Yeah, that's um, funny. <laughs> all right. Let's, let's talk about, I mean, and credit to Hansel Parchment too. <laughs> Like he, he barely got on the Jamaican team, got that third and final spot. And if Omar McLeod ran how he has run in the past, he wouldn't have been on it. And then he gets second in the heat, second in the final, and then first in the, the Olympic final. I see the, ta- uh, the tweet there from, from John Mulkeen. So he, he timed it perfectly versus you can put up Holloway's and it's first, 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 second. <laughs> it's just weird, right? Re- regular season versus, versus postseason. Let's jump in.